I had something interesting happen today. I had a lady come in. She's an older lady. A whole funny story about that. She came in and she blatantly says that she likes to steal patterns. I'm like, um, what do I say to that? So she's looking at my crochet clothes and trying to figure out what pattern she can steal. <laughs> she's like, in her 80s something I don't know but I was just like okay you get a pass because you're an older lady <laughs> so she's looking examining my sweaters and everything and I'm just like okay go for it whatever and then she came in today and she says that her sister has llamas and when she shears her llama she keeps the wool and she gets a friend of hers to spin it for her. Well, and then she just, she doesn't use it. She's just going to get rid of it. So her sister said, you know, wait, no, don't get rid of it. I know a lady who might want it. So she came in today and she says, are you interested? And she brought me a ball. Well, it's quite funny. Like I said, this is pure llama wool, not alpaca, llama. Um, yeah, so I'm able to hold it because it's not mixed with wool, right? Like it's just, it's llama or whatever. I don't, she said llama, but I don't know, maybe it's an alpaca, I don't know. But anyway, it's not mixed with anything, so I can hold it. And so she's going to talk to her sister about it and find it. She says she's got bags and bags of this stuff. And it's all spun. And I'm going, she says, I'll give it to you. I'm like, what? She says, I'll give it to you. And I'm like, well, I'll pay for it. She's like, no, just take it. And I'm like, um, yes, please. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see in the next couple of days and see what she has to say. But if she's bring, I have to rewind this stuff. Um, if she brings it in and she gives it to me, then I'm gonna put it up for sale for you guys. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much yet. I have to figure that out. I don't know how much she's going to bring in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I got to figure that out. But she says she's got bags and bags of this stuff. So holy cow, jackpot! Um, it does. It feels like wool. It, it's got that wool texture to it. Um, so yeah. But I'll keep you guys posted. Yay! Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? <sighs> Feels like it's been forever since I've actually, actually, I turned my camera around. Now I'm thinking my camera's over here and it's over here. <laughs> so forgive me. Um, it feels like it's been forever since I've talked to you guys. <laughs> oh, I have stuff to talk about. Um, I think if I can remember it. <laughs> It's like, I think before I get on camera, it's like, okay, I want to talk about this and this and this and this. And then I get on camera and I go, Phoop. I forget everything. <laughs> Start breaking it down. <laughs> um, okay. So you just saw the little clip uh, at the shop and yeah, this lady, she's, um, she's quite a spitfire, that one. She came barreling into the shop yesterday with her little scooter, just, just like, it was like she was on a racetrack. She had, she had a mission. <laughs> it was quite funny. And I thought, whoa, she's got something important to tell me. Um, she says, I've been misinformed. I'm like, okay. She says, I talked to my sister and she said that the yarn that she has um, isn't clean. I don't know what that means. Well, actually, I do. I think I do know what that means. Um, it's been, she's been sheared, uh, but she hasn't sent it off and everything. And she said that the yarn that she had gotten before 
did have wool in it. And I had a feeling that was the case because it felt like wool. Um, and I, I, my hands were starting to react, but it wasn't, the reaction wasn't as huge as it would have been if it was pure wool. Um, so the alpaca or llama alpaca, whichever it is, <clears throat> um, kind of saved my bacon a little bit, but I gave her that ball back. She wants to try and use it and see what she can do with it. I thought it would make a real good amicaroni, but, uh, so anyway, she told her sister the issue of me being allergic to wool. So she says the next shearing that she does, she's going to keep it as straight alpaca, <clears throat> which is wonderful. And especially if she's going to just give it to me, like that is so generous. Like that, that just blows my mind. So, um, yeah, so it was really cool. But anyway, um, so that happened and I made, I've got all these things going in my head and I just, I can't keep everything straight here. Um, I had an incident happen at the shop yesterday that kind of floored me and that, um, you know, just made me realize that my spirituality is there. <laughs> it's like, you know, they're saying, hey, my guardians are going, we're here, we're listening to you, we're ready. Um, I was making an amicurumi. I posted it on my Facebook group. I'll show you a picture here. Of an ox, 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 <laughs> whatever they're called. I had no idea what they were. I thought that they were just a character on Minecraft, but apparently they're real. <laughs> so everybody I'm talking to is sending me pictures going, they're real. And it's like, oh, okay. Uh, so I tried to make one and it was like cute and everything, but you know what? Because it was so small, I didn't really enjoy doing it. Um, it was fiddly. I didn't like it, but I contacted Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hoot and his crafts. And I says, didn't you make one? I thought I saw you make one. She says, no, but funny thing. I'm making one. I was making one when you were making one. <laughs> so she, she says, great minds think alike. And she showed me hers. And it's, of course, adorable. And, you know, everything Jeanette does is like over the top gorgeous. And so she says, once she's finished it, she's going to get a pattern out. So <laughs> I was just like, maybe I should make one like a plushie instead of making them. I was trying to make them as keychains, but I was like, no, nah. you know, so I come to the decision that I am going to start putting bigger plushies like that, uh, in my shop. So hopefully that'll generate some business. But the weird thing that happened was I was making this thing and I went, ah, oh, I forgot to bring the fiber fill to stuff this thing. And I was like, oh, so I contacted my sister and I says, hey, are you planning on going to Walmart today? And she was like, I wasn't thinking about it. Why? What do you need? And I says, well, I says, I'm making these oxalotl things. And I says, and I, I forgot the stuffing at home. And I just thought if you were going to happening to go past Walmart if you could maybe pick me up a bag she says oh that sucks she says no I, I'm not planning on going and I says oh okay never mind it's okay <clears throat> no sooner did I put my phone down the guy across the street Miles he's um, the crystal guy comes over and plops down a big um, bag of fiber film Like what? I just about jumped out of my chair. <laughs> I'm like, he says, yeah, I know. I've got tons of stuff. I don't even. And I says, you have no idea what just happened. <laughs> so 
I told him the story. I was just typing to my sister that I needed fiber fill and boop, there it is. <laughs> He's a crystal guy, but he went to a, um, a garage sale and picked up a whole bunch of stuff from this lady. And this fiber fill was in this stuff. And he's like, well, I don't need it. So he plopped it on my desk. I'm like, I was shook. I was just like, okay, I, I guess I handed that up. And they, the, the higher powers provided like, like right now, it wasn't delayed. It was like right now. So I was ecstatic and I was freaked out. <laughs> so I says, how's that for handing it up? Uh, and then a couple minutes later, he came back and he brought me some, um, like, almost like the go for foe, you know, that stuff. Um, and he brought me that. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Because <laughs> so, I, I use that stuff on um, some hats and stuff for ears or whatever. So I thought, wow, how's that for you know, saying, Hey, this is what I need. And, you know, can you maybe send me money? Like <laughs> that would be a good thing. <laughs> oh man. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of weird. Um, some other things that were happening at the shop, unfortunately there was a theft. Um, I had, I don't know if you remember on my other video, I was showing you the table at the front that had my amigurumis on it and some face cloths and some scrubbies and some of the wristlets, um, keychain wristlets. And wait, right where the little mirror is, I hung some car charms, uh, crystal car charms. There was two girls that walked through, <clears throat> teenage girls. And they stopped and they were looking at the amigurumi. And I think they lifted three of my car charms. I couldn't see them because that mirror was there and that's where they were because so they could easily have grabbed them and I wouldn't have seen that. Um, so yeah, so that sucked. Uh, but the way I have to look at it uh, is, um, is that they wanted to have a uh, gift for their mom for Mother's Day and they couldn't afford anything. And so, you know, that's the way I have to look at it because otherwise I'm going to drive myself crazy. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to let it go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and then one of my masks, my mask canvases fell off the wall twice. Um, and it was on a nail. So that was a little concerning. <laughs> I'm like, why is this jumping off my wall? So Miles came over and he brought me this huge raw crystal amethyst and this other raw crystal amethyst and he put it in my shop um yeah so i was like okay any negative bad energies out out <laughs> so yeah so there was that <laughs> um what else uh sandy duda from Leftist Right Crochet is back from her cruise. She went on a cruise. Um, she's back and oh, I finally got to have a video chat with her today and it was so nice. I miss her so much. Um, she is planning on coming back to YouTube. I don't know when, uh, but yeah, I miss her terribly. So it was really nice to see her smiling and, and, uh, she went on her anniversary cruise with her husband and uh, they, they're so happy. <laughs> they're so in love. You know, it was like crazy kids. <laughs> so, and, and.
Angela for my precious yarnery is has landed in Nova Scotia. Apparently things aren't going as smoothly as she'd like, but I'll let her tell that story. Um, and I'm just glad that they got there safely. And uh, yeah, onward and upward for them. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping she's going to be, she, has, she doesn't have any internet yet. Uh, so it might be a little while before she can get back on, um, on the tube. So keep our fingers crossed and yeah. Um, I did do, well, I sit at the shop all the time and so I do have time to do some crocheting and all that. Right now I'm having a special on my earrings for Mother's Day. You buy two pairs of earrings and you get a mystery pair for free. So, um, I've been making earrings at the shop, <clears throat> but I have been doing some crochet. I don't usually show whips, but that's about all I've got to show you. So, um, right now, oh, oh I'm at home. Sorry, I'm bending down. I know because it's all down here. Um, I wanted to try and make the, the new thing that seems to be out right now, maybe it's not new, maybe it's just new to me, is the shrug that comes just under your boobs or whatever. Or a lot of them are doing it above the boobs, but that's, you know, for young people. <laughs> um, and it just kind of goes across and then it's just arms, right? <clears throat> so I thought I'd try and make one. I think I may have made it a bit thick because I'm using two strands. So I keep looking over here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, it would be great for fall and spring, maybe. I don't know. But I'm using, <laughs> I'm using DK yarn, guys. I, I don't usually use this, but I've got it and I really like it. Um, this is the Premier Sweet Roll DK. Is my camera backwards? It's, it's showing backwards here. That's weird. Hang on one second. Hmm. Okay, I flipped my camera back around because I'm, I'm charging it as I'm filming. So I thought I thought I was being smart, but I guess not. So, um, okay, let's try that. Uh, it's still showing up backwards on my phone. So hopefully it's not backwards with you. Um, so anyways, it's that, and this is, this is the yarn that reminded me of Warlock. Um, I don't remember the, uh, the yarn that it's called Warlock. But anyway, so these are the same, same colors as the Warlock. And I really wanted to have these colors. Uh, they're not normally my colors, but together it just looks so nice. But this one is called River Rock. Um, I, so I used this with my latte, my Karen latte and the cream. Uh, so I put these two together <clears throat> thinking that being thinner weight yarn would be not so bad. <laughs> um, but it's, it's still thick, but oh well. Um, so this is how much I've got done and it doesn't even, it goes above my boobs right now. Um, so I'm going to do it under my boobs and hopefully that will be okay. I've never made one of these before, so I have no idea what it's supposed to look like. But I thought it was nice and fuzzy. You know, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. If it works out well, then I'll make more. But um, for right now, it's just a trial test. Might be too thick. I don't know. We'll see. Never know if you don't try, right? Okay. <clears throat> um... The next one is, oh. <sighs> remember this guy? <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> 
Um, I started making this little guy. Look at his eyes. Aren't they so pretty? Aren't they so gorgeous? Yeah. Uh, I started making this guy and I was changing colors through it and I got really frustrated and bored with changing colors all the time. So I decided to continue with the black and not change colors. I'm not done, but the rest of him is going to be black. So <laughs> it was funny because I, when I showed this, um, <clears throat> Jojo from um, Joe's Web, she's like, you're making a snake. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, because of you. Thank you very much. Um, she made a, a couple of snakes, a, a boy and a girl. Uh, when she was doing the Nan Nan's Next Knox, was that it? Um, her cow, uh, her cow, I guess it is, um, that they do every year. And so I thought, I want to make one. I want to make one. So these eyes are from Dark Side Eyes. Uh, I'll leave the link down below. But they're from the UK. Um, they're hand painted eyes and I love them. I don't think there's any other eyes that I will really use. I mean, I'm using the, just the regular eyes that you put the sparkle back on or whatever. I use those for the small amigurumis, but for the bigger amigurumis, these are the only eyes that I use because you can get a ton of different kinds and they are really inexpensive. Considering they're coming from the UK, the prices are crazy good. So, and they're handmade. So, yeah. Or hand painted. So, yeah. So, this little guy is... Yay. <laughs> um, so, hopefully, I will get him done at some point. But, uh, and I'm just using the Craftsmart value for that. From the Michaels Craftsmart value. Okay, bending down again. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so the next, oops, the next thing. I've been working on this for a while. Um, I'm working on a few different things just so I'm not bored, which is weird because usually I don't do that. So, but when you're sitting at the shop all day, you know, trying to keep my sanity <laughs> um with this i'm using what am i using oh i'm using a colorama halo for that for this and a sweet rule frosty And this is iced coffee. And I forget what the color is of the, the other thing. It's the beige one. Um, oh, it's going to be kind of hard to show this, but oh. okay. So this is half of it. Oh. Uh, that's the one half, and then there's the head hole here, or the neck, the neck hole, and then this will be the other side, um, the other side of the garment. And so it's done long way. So you're crocheting back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then you make a head hole here. Figure out how long you want the the V in the front. I think Darla, the crafty yarn owl, she did a tutorial on, on this kind of a setup. Um, not this stitch, but um, she kind of talks about how to do this. Uh... It, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. But this stitch, whoop, there we go. This stitch is the stitch that I showed you 
with the cardigan that I made. Um, it's like so squishy soft. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, I screwed up when I was telling you guys the, the construction of this stitch. Um, but it's, it's kind of like a double crochet without being a double crochet. So, um, instead of yarning over, you don't yarn over, you go into the next stitch or into the stitch as if it's uh, a single crochet and you do a chain of three and then you pull through. I'll have to do some sort of a tutorial on this. Um, when I get this one finished, I'll start another one and I'll do, do a tutorial on it uh, and show you guys. It's It takes a little bit of getting used to because you're always used to doing the double crochet. So it's a hard, it, it takes a minute to gear your mind up to realize, no, you're doing a chain instead. Uh, so yeah, but once you get it, it's a lot of fun to do. And it gives this accordion kind of stitch look like it kind of puffs out a little bit and um it's just such a nice stitch i love this so <clears throat> yeah so I'll, sh I'll show it to you when it's finished and yeah we'll go from there but this is a a lot of fun to do i mean it takes a little more time, but it's well, excuse me, it's well worth it. Well worth it. Okay, the next thing I was, I'm working on, this one is not going to be for sale, but I had somebody come into the shop that's like, are you going to sell that? And I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> it's, um, it's a yarn eater, and I don't even know if it's going to work out, but. Oh, you see all that sparkle? Holy crap. Um, it's going to be a shawl, but on the ends, it's going to have, um, look, it's going to look like feathers of a crow. Okay. Um, I'm following a tutorial for this. I'll leave the link down below. Oh, I forget the name of the person that's doing it. Crap. But I'll leave the link down below. Uh, she does it in a thinner, almost like a, a latte cake. Um, and it's like really flowy and everything. This is really thick. This is like blanket thick. So, um, and it's done with the feather stitch. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Eh, sort of. Can you see it in the gray better? So this is the feather stitch, which I thought was appropriate. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that it's going to turn out because what I want to do is when it's done, I want to put it up on the wall at the shop um, and kind of have it like crow feathers, raven feathers, right? Um, <clears throat> that's my hope. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> this takes a while to do it takes quite a while to do and like I said it's a yarn eater but it's so pretty um, and I am using the Luna this is from Hirschner's it, you get it in is it the 8 pack or the 5 pack it's, it's it really inexpensive <clears throat> I and it's squishy yarn I love this yarn. It's so pretty. So there's the label. And yeah. And I think you can get this in different colors. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and it, the, I mean, I know people are going to ask, can you feel the tinsel stuff in here? No, no, you don't feel it. Um, but it's uh, it, it's nice. It's nice, especially when you work it up uh, in this kind of a thing. 
And then I'm also using the pre uh, Bernat Premium, the gray. So <clears throat> I'll let you know when I finish it. Could be a little while because I got too many things on the go. And the thing that I hate the most is when I've got too many things on the go and I put one down and then I forget how I was doing a different one. Like say I, I put this down, I would totally forget the stitch I was using. Oops, sorry. I'd forget the stitch I was doing. I'd forget how I was doing it. Yeah. I, that's why I don't do too many whips uh, all at the same time. But I'm trying to do a little of each one. The snake is easy, right? It's just single crochet. But um, yeah, so I, I just, I hate that. Or I'll lose the hook on one and then I can't remember. Like I've got a project out there that's just sitting there because I can't find the hook. I don't remember what hook I used. I know, I know, I should have a stitch marker on there that tells me. But the problem with that is I have so many furls hooks that have the same size um, that I don't know. I mean, technically you should be able to use the any of those hooks in the same size and it would be okay. But because they're handcrafted, I don't know if there's like a minor um, sizing -ish difference between uh, different hooks. So, yeah, I don't want to take that chance. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's just one of those things, right? <laughs> um, I'm, I think I'm getting starditis because I'm just all over the place. Oh, well. I, I'll get... <coughs> Mail call. <laughs> I'm waiting for uh, an order to come in today. I'm hoping it gets here soon because it's, you know, it was supposed to be here on Friday. It didn't make it. So apparently it's on the island and it's getting shipped today. So here's hoping. And when that comes, I'll for sure show you guys what's in it. Um, I've got a couple of orders coming. So, but that's it, guys. That's all. Of, all, 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 all. <laughs> That's all I've got for you right now, which was probably a lot. But anyways, okay, I'm going to go. I'm thinking because I have Mondays off that Mondays will be my day for uploading videos. Uh, I'll just do video snippets during the week at the shop or whatever. And then upload on Mondays. So kind of give you a recap of my week. I'm sure there's other things I forgot to tell you. But uh, yeah, I don't know. My brain right? <laughs> okay, everybody. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will talk to you guys soon. 